Well, welcome everybody. We're going to present how CardioBit sensor works. But first, before explaining how scientifically it works, we have to explain what we offer. We offer a portable device for the detection of, B of NT Pro BMP, coupled with a personalized service. Well, now that our offer is set clear, we can go to how we detect the, B the Pro BMP. We use, uh, we use fiber optic surface plasma resonance to create a mass-based biosensor, meaning that if target binds to our fiber, we will get a signal in change of wavelength. We use gold nanoparticles to amplify signals. We use a sandwich bioassay to be specific to the target. So we use two different uh, monoclonal antibodies to detect the target. And then we store the fibers already used via uh, dry storage. But we will see further in detail with the following movie. Hello. Today I'm going to introduce you to CardioBeats Biosensor. CardioBeats Sensor uses surface plasma resonance principal to create a mass biosensor with optic fiber. Before measurements, we need to functionalize the surface of the optic fibers and of gold nanoparticles. For optical fibers, we have to remove the cladding from the edges and sputter with gold the longest edge. We functionalize with antibodies the fiber and the nanoparticles. To prevent unspecific interactions, we add a blocking agent. Our fiber and particles are ready to be used. We are ready to measure. During the measurement, we must transduce it and amplify the signal. The SPR technique allows us to have a mass value sensor. The signal obtained is a shift in wavelength of the internal reflected light. The heavier the target attached to the fiber, the higher the shift. More binding of target, the higher the shift. The following graph shows the signal of the sensor compared to the attachment. We have a baseline in which no target is binded. Target binds and we have a small shift, but when the heavy gold nanoparticles attach, the signal is amplified. Increasing concentrations are correlated with higher shift, therefore with higher slope, and that's how our biosensor works. And now to see a little bit how our sensor is built. Uh, since the technique is based on the detection of a shift in wavelength, then of course we need a, a light source and something to, for detection. Uh, so as the light source we use uh, an LED uh, fit in a special uh, holder. And we use a micro spectrophotometer to, to, detect, the, to detect the shift. Uh, we then connect those two components through a bifurcated fiber uh, to our functionalized fiber with the uh, uh, antibodies. Uh, and that fiber is then going to be dipped in a vial with the sample. Uh, now, since, uh, well, we need something to assure correct placement of the, of the vial and the fiber, then we uh, designed a manual rotor, which enables us to switch vials and to change their position very exactly, very easily, so that we're sure that the fiber will not move and that it will not uh, well, be damaged by the walls of the vial. Uh, and then the detective wavelength is uh, processed uh, and then uh, well, displayed on the screen. Uh, so, to, let's say, put everything together, uh, we have a calibration curve which shows that we can detect uh, up to 199 picograms per, per milliliter uh, in six minutes. Uh, and it is a two-step assay, so first we will have to uh, detect, first we will have to detect, uh, first the sample will bind and then the gold nanoparticles will bind to amplify the signal. And that's it. Thank you for your attention.